just a beautiful boat. No more wind noise because we are fully protected in this cockpit. We've got 360 degree views. This is not a setup that you see that often. This is pretty unique. There's actually a little bit of a tub there. Look at that. What's up everyone? I'm excited today because I've got a tour of what might be a perfect ready to sail go anywhere vessel for a couple or a small family, all for a reasonable price. Island packets are built heavy with wide beams, full encapsulated keels and protected rudders. They'll get you to your destination in safety and comfort. They also have relatively shallow drafts so that you can anchor in more places. Remember to do all the usual things and without further ado, let's get to the tour. Alrighty, I just stepped aboard and we are going to go forward first, but just taking a quick look at the cockpit here. We've got a big cockpit with a very large enclosure, but we'll come back to that in a little bit. Going forward, the boom is on deck, but aside from that, there's a nice wide side deck here. Stainless steel port lights going forward, handrails going all the way forward, nice high lifelines and outboard shrouds, so just a very clear and safe way forward. I like that a lot. Continuing forward, there's a good amount of ventilation, some granny bars by the mast there. I like that as well. Nice high bulwarks and a teak combing going all the way forward. Classic of island packets. It's a little bit windy today, so I apologize for the wind noise if you hear it, I'm sure you do. But we are now forward and another classic sign of an island packet is a cutter rig with this boomed self-tacking staysail. I like that a lot. And then a pretty good sized bowsprit, not a huge bowsprit, but we've got a bowsprit up here with a double bow roller and a delta style anchor there with that little step slash seat right there. I like this a lot. This is a nice and tidy way to deal with fenders and it also keeps them accessible for use. And you know, they tend to take up a lot of space in the lockers so that's kind of nice looking aft just a beautiful boat you guys know i love island packets very classic very well built boat built to go anywhere bow locker all the way up here is actually a chain locker and windless controls after that. We are on the Great Lakes, so this is a freshwater boat, not an ounce of rust anywhere. I love that. Looking up the rig, the masts and the sails are down, but a double spreader, kind of rigged boat, granny bars by the mast there, certainly plenty of ventilation and hatches. And here's those nice wide side decks going aft with the, the outboard shrouds. We've got one, two, three, four, five outboard shrouds holding this mast up. Very nice. Traveler forward of the cockpit. I like that a lot for safety while cruising. And a nice big cockpit enclosure for protection from the weather. Whether it be sun, rain, wind, a really windy day like today, you guys are going to notice as soon as I step in there, no more wind noise. But I don't want to open this up. The other side's open. So what I'm going to do is go over the coach roof like this, which is pretty easy to do, and come all the way back to where, where we started. And I just want to quickly take a look at the transom. This boat does have a swim platform off of the transom as well as dinghy davits, so very nice. And going into the cockpit. You guys hear that? Or lack of it? No more wind noise, because we are fully protected in this cockpit. We've got 360 degree views. It's really nice in here. I actually just took off my sunglasses. This is a nice, comfortable place to spend a passage for sure. We've got our winches up here. All lines are gonna lead back to the cockpit to make this boat easy to sail short-handed. More winches. 
and cockpit lockers. We're gonna take a look at those right now. It's a good size cockpit locker there on the port side. Got our helm station right here. Helm seat, nice comfy helm seat sitting at that helm seat. We've got good visibility forward, nice protection all around instruments right here. And then another, another cockpit locker. It's got a lot of stuff in it, but it does look like it goes all the way down. So two big cockpit lockers back here. And you guys are going to see a lot of accommodation down below for a boat of this size. I believe this is going to be a propane locker. Nope, actually, well, maybe it is. Just a little, little locker right there. Engine controls and a wash down right there off the back. I like it. Guys, I don't know. I can't really stress how comfortable and nice and big this cockpit is. It's not only safe, but it's big and comfy. I like that for sure. Let's head on in. And now I am down below. It is really windy outside. I don't know if you guys can still hear it through the trees, but wow. This is a beautiful, beautiful boat. And you know, I would expect nothing less from an island packet like this. You guys know, again, I just love these boats. Keel stepped mast. Nice beamy boat with a big main salon. However, it does have a big salon table that folds down and can go all the way up just like that so that you have a nice huge area to lounge in when you're at anchor. L-shaped settee, storage abound all around. Every island packet I've been on has these hard headliner and liners for the headliner and near the port lights, so nothing to rot, but still lots of teak around to make it feel nice and cozy and you know frankly beautiful. Look at this, look at this bulkhead, the curved bulkhead there with the teak. And then I love this setup right here with the two individual lounge chairs that can also be converted to a berth. And you got your TV up there, storage all around. And then continuing forward, a, I don't know if I'd call this a V berth. It's the forward cabin. It's got a Pullman style berth right here to one side, double berth. I like it and lots of storage with little push buttons to lock and a little vanity as well. Looking aft, there is a hanging locker right here, wardrobe, and then an ensuite head all the way forward. So very, very nice. It is kind of a hybrid. It does have a separate shower, but it is kind of a wet head as well, but very comfortable. Everything built to, to get wet. So a nice ensuite head with a mostly separate shower. I like it a lot. Everything's in really good condition as well, guys. Ready to go and cruise on. Continuing aft. This is not a setup that you see that often. This is pretty unique. So we've got a forward facing nav station just forward of the galley and a nook style galley. So forward facing nav station, beautiful nav station right here. The only thing I would probably change is to put a little screen right there with a camera on the mast so you could see forward out of the boat because you know, you can't really, you can't actually see forward from here. So, but other than that, super comfy nav station where you can navigate the boat from. It's also a hub for all of your systems aboard. Very, very cool. And then there's a cabinet right here. I don't know what's in there. So just a maybe equipment storage cabin. It does look like it's actually another hanging locker too. So could be a spare hanging locker, equipment storage, and also extra counter space. 
Very interesting. I have not seen a setup like this yet because right behind that nav station is the Nook style galley. Very well designed galley for being at sea. You can brace while you're cooking. A crazy amount of cold storage. This is enough storage for a ton of food. Storage behind, storage down below, gimbaled stove. More dry storage there. A little microwave. Nice sink. And you know, this is this isn't a centerline sink, but it's pretty close to being a centerline sink, so I like that. And then the engine's gonna be down there. We're gonna look at that in a little bit, but to port, I believe we have another head right here. And we do. So another head with a more separate, separate shower. And there's actually a little bit of a tub there. Look at that. So this is awesome for two reasons. One, if you have kids, you're gonna bathe them right here. Or, it makes it easier to wash your clothes in the shower. So you got a good place where you can do do laundry there. And then it looks like the head connects to the aft cabin. The head is accessible from the main salon as well as as well as the aft cabin back here. And this looks to be a it's not a full beam aft cabin, but it's got a really big berth in here. That's probably a queen size berth. So I would honestly be tempted to use this as the as the main cabin, but you could really use either. Both cabins are equally as comfortable. I like that a lot. And you've got more storage on that side of the cockpit, the starboard side, because the cabin doesn't go all the way. And then finally the stairs remove quite easily and the engine is accessed from right here. So it does look like there are access panels. Yep, there's another access panel on the side. So this isn't the full access, but that's where the engine is. All right, guys, it's time for the full continuous below decks walkthrough from bow to stern.
So what do you think? Personally, I think that this could be a great opportunity for someone looking for a ready to sail, comfortable, strong, go anywhere boat for a couple or small family. You all know I love Island Packets and I hope this tour gives you a better understanding of why that is. As with all of our videos, the current asking price as well as the broker contact information will be in the description below. Thanks again for watching. Remember to do all the usual things and I'll see you in the next one. I've got it right and I got it wrong But I learned my lesson hanging on Come sit here with me by the fire And let it go for a little